Well, hello, Scrappers. Mike here. Welcome back to my channel. And today we have um, a viewer donation uh, to talk about. Sort of a mail call video. All this did not arrive by mail. Um, there's a bit of a backstory about this. I'll tell you that in a minute, but I'll tell you what it is first. It's about 40 pounds ugh, of silver plated wire. Um, it looks like the kind of stuff that's used in the aerospace industry, although I am not 100% certain where this came from. But it certainly looks like aerospace stuff. Um, and the story behind this wire, uh, my stepson has a friend, John. And John has a brother. And John's brother is Justin. And Justin is described as my biggest fan. I don't know this for certain. This is just how he's described by John and my stepson. Um, they say every time they see Justin, he's watching one of my videos. He, and he's getting into the precious metal recovery and refining too. Now, clearly Justin is not just emulating me. He's branching out in his own directions because this is something I have never dealt with before is silver coated wire. But anyway, um, my stepson went up and visited John and Justin, and Justin sent this 40 pounds or so of, uh, of wire down to me as a gift. And, well, I appreciate that, Justin. Thank you very much. So, how best to process this? That is a really good question. Um, this is interesting wire, too. This isn't just regular wire. This is, uh, it looks like twisted pairs with, um, a over, with, a, with an overcoat a shield wire over them. So we got a lot of twisted pairs with shielding over them. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how to deal with this. I'll try and give you a close-up look at what I'm talking about here. Basically, each strand is a pair of wires. Here's one, two. I don't know if that's showing up. And um, it's overcoated with a shield wire. So can you see what I'm talking about there? It's each strand here is two wires that are wrapped by a sheath of other wire. It's kind of like coax, except it's got two central conductors. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with. And it's in several sizes. Some of these are really, really skinny, but they're still, you can see in there, hopefully, there's two conductors in the center wrapped by a sheath. So that's what we're dealing with. There's another one right there. Two wires wrapped by a sheet. But the wire, uh, the, the, the wire is really, really shiny. I can tell it's definitely silver plated. That's not tin. That's silver. It's super shiny. So what we want to do is figure out a way to get that silver off of this wire. So that's an interesting challenge I've been set. So, and it's all silver plated. I can see it's very shiny, very, very shiny. But I can see that the, the, the wires are copper. So it's not silver all the way through. It's just copper that's plated with silver. So um, probably not a huge percentage of silver here. Um, usually at the most 10% by weight after you strip it, which is not going to be easy with this stuff. This is... I've already, you know, stripping back a little bit of it here was very difficult. So, just to get a look at it. Um, but, yeah, after stripping, so maybe 10% of the weight is going to be silver. Anyway, I may have to uh, do a few experiments to see the best way to strip this stuff. I may have to build myself a slitting machine and see if I can slit the insulation off of this. So, we got, like, several different sizes of wire here too which is going to make that an interesting proposition i mean your average redneck would probably just throw this on a fire and burn the insulation off but well that would make a lot of horrible smoke this is probably pvc horrible toxic smoke and this wire is really fine it might just melt into a nasty mess so uh yeah, so I'll probably have to build like a slitting machine or something. We'll see. But I'm thinking what I need to do is probably do a small scale test on this. I don't know, maybe a foot or so of this stuff, which is going to weigh, I don't know, probably close to a pound. 
and uh, see just what the percentage of silver in it is and how difficult it is to strip and how difficult it is to recover the silver and then decide whether it's actually worth the effort you know the uh, the cost of any chemicals and other processing and my time whether it's worth it but it should be an interesting project um, so uh, I think in the future this will be a video or two down the road So yeah, this is going to be an interesting challenge you've given me, Justin. So you folks out there in the audience, if you have any good suggestions on how I should uh, process this stuff, let me know. Leave a comment. If you have any experience, you have any ideas, probably going to have to build a slitting machine or something. Like I said, leave a comment. Leave me your suggestions. Let me know how you would proceed with this. And um, subscribe to see future videos where I deal with this stuff. And, uh, yeah, if you found this video at all interesting, educational, informative, whatever, give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in those future videos. Thanks a lot for watching this one, and thanks again, Justin. Bye.